You might as well tell them. We've got a pretty, pretty, pretty strong team here, man. We're, we're, we're Good afternoon and welcome to the Coke Diner Arena. Yeah, no. Today's round robin game in the Dallas Johnson Memorial Cup. If you need to sit up and need today's teams are the end to finish. I think that's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be a tough game. Each team will be led on the ice by the seventh player of the game. Ces joueurs seront aujourd'hui today. These players are Avery Bitcoin and Julien Casey. Good afternoon and welcome to the Colcan Arena for this scheduled game in the 2022 John Johnson Cup. We have the anti Ganesh Bulldogs representing Nova Scotia up against the 
ANS Scrap Metal Metros representing Prince Edward Island. And we're underway here, starting in goal for the Metros. We have number one, Matthew Jelly. He gets the call today, and once again for Andy Ganesh, Cody McEckern, who's played the majority of the game so far. First period just getting underway way here. And we get McLeod shot from the point. And easy stop by McEckert. Andy Ganesh has been quite impressive so far in this tournament. So far undefeated. So it looked like they're headed for the semis with no issues. We've got Bradley, picks it up behind his own net and he'll turn back, trying to avoid the four checker, McDonald. And another stretch pass that will go for, I believe, icing. So, bit of a home run pass that went sideways. We'll have a face-off deep in the Metro's end, left of the goaltender. And right off the draw, Metro's pick it up, they'll send it to the middle. This is McKinnon. McKinnon back to Watts at the blind. Watts keeps it in. He throws it in deep. And a big hit by McKinnon. Out they come. Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons to Price. Price gets a shot away. Oh, and a wide open net and they fail to connect. We've got McKinnon here on the stretch. That stays onside. McKinnon will beat his man to the puck. Up the wall. Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons cuts back to the middle. He, he's onside coming in. Price. Price to Fitzsimmons. To Etheridge. That goes over the net. Palmer is able to clear, but it goes back in. Up to the right wing. Palmer. In the zone. He'll rim it around, no one there for the Metros. So a turnover. Up the middle. Mitchell. Good stop there by the Metros goaltender. And headman pass, he'll just dump it in. McLeod dumps it in. He'll chase down his own dump. And there's a shot that goes off a, a leg in front. No harm, no foul. And we got Bradley, he's gonna come back. Nope, he'll let Pierce, Pierce pick it up. Pierce is gonna pick it up and he's looking for Bradley on the wing. We've got an affiliate player, number eight. I'm not sure who he is and he wasn't, he was out of position. Landry feeds it back to the line and that's a leg in front. McClellan putting pressure on his man. He's able to create a turnover. And it's centered in front. Here's McClellan. McClellan avoids a check and stick save. Here's Bradley. Bradley will pick up in his own end, take his time. He'll just flip it out here in the neutral zone. And McClellan gloves it down. He'll throw it up, little tip at the line. And right back out into the middle. McClellan. McClellan gets beaten by Bowman, but able to recover. McLeod. McLeod up to Mitten. Mitten will carry it in, but he'll lose it. He's offside anyway. Steele. Steele comes up the left wing, looking for a man to regroup. He finds Mitten. Mitten carries it up the left wing, but he loses it. Here comes Etheridge, Etheridge, that's offside. So Etheridge was entering the zone with McDonald, but 
Maddie was offside. So we'll have a neutral zone face-off on the Metro's side of the ice. 16.03 left first period, no score. And a clean win by Mitten. And he picks it up in his own end and he'll ice it. The Metros are looking for the home run pass and uh, not there 90% of the time, so maybe they should consider staying, changing a uh, strategy to uh, little short chips trying to get it out of their own end because the long stretch passes haven't been working for them the entire tournament. Here's McKinnon. He'll throw it in the middle. Lund. Lund's after it, trying to keep it in, and Lund was offside. Nope, high stick. The referee Ross Wellner. Calls it a high stick, so the faceoff goes deep in Anaganish territory. Lund on the draw for the Metros. And he loses it. Anaganish looking to break out. High, high long pass for Maddie, and it must have been tipped. No icing. Here's Maddie, all, almost alone by the side of the net, and he'll center it. And. Unable to find McDonald in the slot. Back to the point. And that shot finds its way through. Blocker save. Here's Watts. He's deep. And they'll try to flip it out to the neutral zone. They do successfully. And there's a bit of a collision. Maddie got hit, and then McDonald took him out. Trying to get to the bench. Fourteen forty-seven left first period. Still no score. Here's Etheridge trying to cut back to the middle. Here's Fitzsimmons. He'll pick up the puck, looking for someone in the slot, and fires it back out. Good play, keeping in at the line. That was Stewart. And again, another good job of keeping keeping it in, and it finally gets flipped out back to the neutral zone, and they'll have to reset. Here's Palmer on the wraparound, and that goes up the right wing to Fitzsimmons. Here's Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons entering the zone onside with Etheridge, and good good save there by Jolly. Here's Price at the line. He couldn't find a lane, so he throws it over his partner who puts it up over the net. McClellan, McClellan walks in. And good shot there. And we'll have a stoppage in play that went off the backboards. Jelly's got it covered up, but the net is off. It's pegs. 13.30 left, first period. No score here. Metro's Bulldogs. 2022 Don Johnson Cup from the Cocan Arena in Cocan, New Brunswick. Face off to the left of Jelly. And Annie Ganesh comes up with the puck off the face off. In behind the net, here's McDonald. McDonald trying to center. We got a man down in front. And not sure if he got. Seems to have an issue with uh, an ankle. Maybe have turned his ankle, might have got tangled up with someone in front. And going off, that's Noah Harrison, 27. So he'll get attended to on the bench. Might have tweaked his ankle, it looked like. Looks 
Okay, so we've got Annie Ganesh here on the power play. Coogan in the penalty box for slashing. That might explain what happened to the Annie Ganesh player who went to the bench with a questionable ankle. So here's Annie Ganesh trying to set up the power play. They'll walk in and that goes through the crease. Here's Grant. Grant on the wall. And we have another penalty. We have an interference call on Annie Ganesh McDonald. So he had some shenanigans going on in the corner and McDonald will cut called for interference. So that'll tie things up here. 4-4 will be the will be four on four. Penalty to each team. So for the next 40 seconds, we'll play four on four and then the Metros will go to a brief power play. And right off the draw. The Bulldogs control. They'll carry it out. There's Twolan dumping it in and we got four and four, so we've got a little bit of more open ice here, and there's the Metros again, unable to connect on the headman pass, and that'll go for icing. 12-20 remaining first period. Still no score. Then off the draw, Mitten wins that pretty cleanly. And Out comes the Metros. And back to the line. Steele. Steele will keep it in. And shot on goal. Good save. And Andy Ganesh looking to clear. And another turnover. Here's Steele with the turnover. And he misses by a couple of feet. Here's Pierce on the left wall. He'll cycle down to Steele. And he loses it in behind the net. And here comes Twolan. Twolan up the left wing. Leaving his defensive post. And the Bulldogs are able to keep it in, but Pierce comes up with the puck. Pierce down the right wing. And he'll put it right in on goal. And a good save there by McKecker. And he'll hold on, 11.15 remaining. First period, 33 seconds remaining in the brief Metro's power play. And Mitchell wins the draw, but unable to keep it in is McLeod. Bradley goes back, sets up behind his own net. Here's Bradley. Looking for an outlet pass. Goes back to the line. Here's Pierce. Out in front. Mitchell. Mitchell dismisses by a couple of feet. Bradley over to McLeod. McLeod in off a leg. And they'll dump it back out and right out of the box. Here's a potential breakaway. And beautiful. And another beautiful save. Beautiful save there by Jelly on a, what looked to be a sure goal. Came across the crease and got a toe on it. Here's Grant for Inish coming back into the ground into the into the zone. Looking for Etheridge in front, and I unable to find him. And the puck skips over the glass. That was an impressive save on what was a virtually a 2 on 0 with an open side on the rebound, and he was able to get over there. Ten minutes even left here, first period.
Clean win, Annie Ganesh. Here's Chasson. Chasson on goal, blocker save. Chasson keeps it in at the line. He goes cross zone in behind the net. It's not a power play where they're looking a bit like one. And there's a pinching defenseman which enables the Metros to clear the zone. Up to Watts on the left wing. And here comes Harrison. Harrison breaking in. Harrison tries to center, unable to do so. Mitchell just misses the open side. Turnover. Out comes Annie Ganesh again. Here comes Tro Trollin. And shot and goal. Nice save there by Jelly. Right in the logo. Twolin was going in there with Tramble. Chose to shoot. There's Pierce in behind the net. Up the wing it goes. There's a tripping call. No, no call. Here's Tramble in front. And Jelly is able to get a glove on it. Eight forty-six remaining first period. Still no score. Play fairly even, a little more even than I thought it would be. So P.I. putting in a good effort here. First 10 minutes of this game. Annie Ganesh is a team to be reckoned with, so for, for the Metros to stay in this game, they're going to have to limit the turnovers and try to muster some offense. Here's Lund. Lund dumps it in far corner and he'll go in and after himself. And they come up with it. Reeves. Reeves puts it off the side of the net. Here's a nice blocker save by Jelly and able to clear the zone. Here's McClellan. McClellan. McClellan to the middle. Back to McClellan. He's going to try to chip it out. He does. Gets it on the neutral zone to McDonald. Back to McClellan. And Landry unable to pick up the pass. And we have an icing call that will be charged to the Metros. Seven forty-four left, first period. And puck bounces into the slot off the faceoff. Mitten, Mitten picks it up. He sends it back to the point, but unable to clear. McClellan just misses by a foot, and Jelly will cover it up for a faceoff to his left. Didn't want to take any chances there. Too many. Black shirts hanging around the net. Mitten to McDonald here on the faceoff, and McDonald wins it. They try to keep it in. There's Jelly, good save. Up the wing to McClellan. McClellan keeps it in. He'll try to put it down low. He pinches. And puck is turned over. Mitten, Mitten just chips it out into the neutral zone. And a bit of a game of ping pong here. Here's Palmer, Palmer. Palmer trying to find Mitten going to the net. Unable to do so. Mitten, scramble for it at the corner. Goes back to the point. Rim back in. Watts, Watts intercepts it in the middle. He'll send it back into his own end. Send it over to the bench there. Got to be careful on the change. Yeah. 
And the puck is tipped in. McEachern plays it himself like a defenseman. Fitzsimmons, Fitzsimmons up to Price. Price turns it over. Etheridge unable to keep it in. Here's Chasson. Chasson will just dump it in. Etheridge going hard on the forecheck. Over to Watts. He takes a bump along the boards. Here's Etheridge looking for a man out in front. No one there. Battle long for it on the wall. Oh, big hit there by McDonald. And that point shot gets through. Good save by Jelly. And we've got a stoppage in play. We've got a looks like offsetting minors, Mitchell and Etheridge. Both headed for the box. The one one's gonna be a slash. To wait for the call. Likely a slash and a rough. 542 remaining first period. Pierce. Pierce up the steal on the right wing. He'll carry it. He'll hit the red, try to hit the red line and get it in. Leaves it for Bowman at the point who loses it. Tramble. Tramble almost collides with Grant going into the zone. Landry. He'll just dump it back in. Grant. Grant picks it up, trying to center it to Twolin. Unable to do so. Landry takes a bump in the corner. Here's Tramble on the regroup. He gives it away. Pierce, unable to find a line, bounces out back out into the neutral zone. Here's a race for it. Bradley, Bradley picks it up and he'll just throw it into the end. Twolin behind his own net while both teams change. He'll wait. Chasson tries to put pressure on him. Boyd. Boyd goes cross zone. And Mitchell knocked down. Here comes the Metros. Metros. And we've got a hooking call. as the Metros go into the zone. <laughs> so we've got the Nanny Ganesh penalty, hooking call. That'll put the Metros on the power play. 417 left, first period, no score. Lund at the point, trying to find some room, can't, loses it. Mistake there. Tyler Boyd on the slashing penalty. So he'll, he'll sit for two minutes. And a, bit of a bit of a scramble at the line. And a break, here's a shorthanded. And that shorthanded chance has Another penalty, so we're going to go four on four here. We'll have a penalty to Bradley, who slashed the Anning Guinness player trying to get to the net on the shorthanded chance. So now we'll play four on four for the next minute and a half. 3.47 left, first period. Here's a scram. Hunter Bradley on the slashing call in front of the net. Fight for it in the corner. Lund, he's able, unable to come up with it. There's Lund. He will pick it up, and he gets the shot away, and a good save by McEachern on 
That close range shot. Took it right in the chest. No rebound. 3.04 left, first period. And Mitten for the Metros loses that draw. Back out in the middle, here's Annie Ganesh. Annie Ganesh entering the zone, Grant. Grant on a couple of good moves. Unable to control, here's McLeod. McLeod will enter the zone. On side, trying to find Bradley. Bradley picks it up on the point dump in. Shot from the point, this is by a good four feet. And Annie Ganesh will just flip it back out in the middle. Eight seconds left in the Annie Ganesh, in the, in the Annie Ganesh penalty. So now a brief power play for the Bulldogs. Here's Price going right up the middle. And he loses it. Held in at the line, McClellan. McClellan, he gives it away. Back to the point, McClellan. He'll try to slow things down. Goes to the wall. Back to McClellan. And we've got some extracurricular activity in front of the net. And we'll have another penalty for interference. I believe this is going to go against McDonald, anti Ganesh. Fighting for space in front of the net. And... Uh, He'll get called on the interference. So we've got five seconds remaining in the penalty to the Metros. So the Bulldogs will be on the power play here in five seconds. So it's going to be a very brief four on four. Back to the point. And they'll just dump it in. Slot, no one there. Here's Estridge for McClellan. McClellan, he crisscrosses in the middle with McDonald. Almost a collision. Here's McDonald. He'll go back and regroup so they can get set up on their, their power play. They're going to dump it in. Here's McDonald, trying to kill time in his own end. Does a good job, great Fitzsimmons on the breakout pass. Able to control it coming into the zone. He'll spin with a horde of Metros on him. Last minute of play in the first period. So the Metros will remain on the power play for the rest of this period. And there's a unforced error. Headman pass, unable to pick it up. Was Palmer, and that'll go for icing. So 44 seconds left. Back to the point, and that'll go off the mesh in behind the net. We'll have that blown down. Somebody jumped on the face-off. So they'll do it all over again. Face-off to the left of Jelly. And squirts right into him right off the face-off. And he'll cover up. Matthew Jelly. Pretty strong first period. Saw a lot of pressure at times. So he's keeping his team in it. Note the Metro's come with 27 seconds. Bradley, Bradley down the wall. Fighting with it with Mitten. They regain control. He gets to it and a bouncing puck in the slot. Bradley, Bradley to Bradley. Got the two brothers. 
Fighting for it down low, they're gonna rim it around and that will do it for the first period. So no score here from Cocan. Bulldogs Metros. You're watching the 2022 Don Johnson Cup live from the arena in Cocan, New Brunswick. We'll be back with the second period. Everyone was going out west, run away from the girlfriend, chase the job and the big buck. You could not blame them. But you know why they always come back? Donair. Out west, there's Donair to go for the good food. When the plane landed at Aeroport Romeo, you could almost smell the Donair in the hair. Just crave that mystery meat with the sweet, sweet sauce. The first bite after you come home, that's Worry Paw in the pita right there. Get some more Worry Paw feeling with Vienno Insurance. Visit GoVienno.com. Worry Paw.
Welcome back to the Cocan Arena for second period action here. Just underway. We got an icing call against the Metros. Face off deep in their end. And McDonald wins that clear back to McClellan. McClellan, he'll cycle it back in. McDonald, he'll chip it back up to the wall. And a turnover at the blue line. We've got the Metros coming in, looking for someone in the slot, unable to get there. Wait, Wait picks it up. He'll go up the right wing. Bradley blew a tire. Nice shot. And a better save there by Jelly. So off to a fast start here in the second period. Here's a face off to the left of Jelly. And a scrambled face off, they'll do it again. And Fitzsimmons won the draw, but Baldwin, he's in deep. He pushes man, look for a look for an open man in front. Lund, Lund puts it off the back of the net. Back to the point, unable to keep it in. There's Lund trying to get the puck in deep, unable to do so. Here comes the Bulldogs. A little scrambly play here in the middle, back and forth. Fitzsimmons, he's unable to get a shot away. Scramble in front, McClellan, McClellan. Looking for an open man, he's got Price wide open. Decides to shoot. 
And that'll be an icing call once again against the Metro. So 18.06 remaining second period. Face off deep. Here goes McLeod, he'll rim it in. And down there to get it is Mitchell. Mitchell picks it up, back to the slot to McLeod. Nice pad save there. Fight along the boards, Mitchell, Palmer. And they're able to clear. Here comes Bradley out of the penalty box. Bradley gives away to Stewart. Bradley fighting for it down in the corner. Back to the point. And almost a nice tip there in front. And once again, they're able to clear. Here's McNeil, McNeil. McNeil trying to get it around, around his man. Forced back out in the neutral zone. He'll feed it back to Lund. Lund to McClellan, McClellan. McClellan right up the gut, another turnover. McClellan picks it up again, off the glass and out. A lot of neutral zone play here, back in and out, in and out. Steele, he almost had a turnover. Tramble, he's unable to control the puck. Back out in the middle, so adding an inch, they just flip it back in. Landry unable to come up with it. Cycle it around, here's Landry on the wall. Sixteen oh four remaining, second period. Still no score. And McClellan for the Bulldogs will go back to get it, and that'll be icing once again charged to the Metros. Fifteen fifty four remaining. Second period. Mostly the second period has just been scrambly play in the middle. Each team turning it over. And Centerman's being thrown out of the faceoff here right on before the puck was dropped. McDonald will slide in there to take the draw. And another scramble draw. Bradley along the wall. Bradley, he flips it up, and out it goes. And McClellan fall down, but able to control is McDonald. McDonald gets it in deep. He's fighting for it along the wall with Bradley. Up the wall to Bradley. Turned over. Here's McClellan. McClellan just flips it into the slot. And Jelly will grab that and hang on for a face-off. 15-13 remaining. Second period. So far, both teams managing to stay out of the penalty box in this second period. The first period was a penalty-filled affair. Lots of four-on-fours and lots of power plays. Neither team able to capitalize. Here goes Reeves. Reeves dumps it in to Lund, and Lund gets a shot off. And a nice save. Face off to the right of McEachern. Controlled by 
the Metros. Here's Lund. Lund goes in, spins around, loses it. Back out to the middle. Price unable to control. So the Metros will just dump it in again. Reeves. Reeves, Lund, that'll be offside. Lund was offside. Couldn't keep his foot on the line. So we'll have a neutral zone face-off on the Bulldog side of the ice. Here's McClellan. McClellan, he'll carry it out. And the headman, another headman pass, which put Boyd offside on that headman pass. Not sure why they keep going to the stretch passes that are low percentage and don't work. But here's Fitzsimmons on the wall. He'll throw it in. And that hits a leg in front, and they believe one off a high stick. They'll blow it down, and they'll have a face-off to the left of Cody McEachern. Mitchell wins the wins the draw, and the shot right on McEachern covering that up. Now do it again. Here goes the Metros trying to get over their own end. They'll throw up the middle. Mitchell chip that, so that'll negate the icing. McClellan, McClellan being behind his own net, looking for an outlet. He'll throw it up the wall. Landry for checking on the puck. Not able to keep it in. Here's the Metros. Bowman. He takes a bump. Grant. Grant with a nifty move at the blue line. Grant going to the net. Grant looking for someone in front. No one there. Back to McClellan at the point. McClellan, he'll dump it in deep. And... Down on goal, it'll, goal it will go. It'll set it up behind the net. Nope, it'll dish off to the wing with McAdam for checking. And they score. Now the goal scorer is number eight. I don't have a number for him. I believe he's an affiliate player, a green helmet. So... Uh, that's a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid accomplishment by the affiliate player. I'm sure we'll get his name here on the on the PA address. And we'll let you know who he is. And they're bumped along the boards. Here's Prolin in behind his own net. So we've got a one nothing. One nothing, Metros. Bit of an unexpected turn. Thought the Metros would have to play a perfect game to stay in the game with any condition. They're doing that. So we call that a perfect road game so far. So one nothing, Metros. Here comes McDonald. And off the bra off the draw, Bradley loses a stick, kicks it forward to the other Bradley, who's una unable to control. So. They'll chip it back out in the middle. 
more scrambly play. I believe this is Bradley. He'll carry it in. No, that was Steele. Steele to Mitten. Mitten center is unable to find anyone. Here comes Fitzsimmons. He's onside coming in. Missed by a couple of feet. Here comes Mitten. Mitten in the zone. Takes it to the slot. Loses it behind the net. Here's a potential three on one. Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons tries to find Price in front. Goes off a leg. And we got a penalty here coming up against Danny Ganesh. Fitzsimmons is going to be called for the slash. Knock the stick out of the hand of the Metro player, Mitten. He's complaining that his stick was being held. But that's not what the official saw. The official saw the slash. 11.39 remaining. So we got the Metros on the power plate. And there, here goes Matty, Matty, Matty on a short-handed try. Able to get the puck on the on goal, but it was bouncing a little bit in front. So not able to get a great shot away. There's another shot, and Jelly will hold on. So, so far, an ineffective power play for the Metros. They're not able to get anything set up. A minute 39 remaining. Here goes the Metros trying to set up a power play set up. But unable to do so, another turnover. So, Danny Ganesh will just clear the zone. We got Boyd. Streaking on the puck, he'll get there first. He's looking to hog the puck and kill some time. Here's Bradley. Bradley for the Metros. He'll carry it up the left wing. And he dumps it back to Lund. Lund chips it in. He'll go after his own chip. We had a... We had Boyd taken down sort of behind the play. Fans looking for a penalty, none called. And Steele gets it in on the net. And McEachern covers up. And now we've got Boyd complaining to the officials. Better be careful. He'll end up with a... Boyd will end up with a two-minute minor for abuse. McDonald, McDonald takes the draw, keeps it on the wall, jumps over the glass, so they'll do it again. 10.25 remaining, second period, 46 seconds remaining. Here's the Metros in behind the Bulldog net. Fighting for there is Mitten. And it gets chipped out to the middle. Here's Bradley. Bradley back to Lund. Trying to leave really the pressure back to Bradley. And Bradley will head man. They're in the zone. Mitten, Mitten. Mitten's un unable to turn it. Over here's Maddie on a potential breakaway, and Maddie, oh, one move too many, forced a short shoot from the corner and unable to get it on net. And we've got an offside call here. So Jelly. Able to control that breakaway pretty good. Bit of a bit of a poke check, and that forced him into the corner to shoot from a weird angle. And 
and was able to keep the puck out. Here's Palmer behind the net, unable to control it. And Andy Ganesh, out they come. Going to hit the line. Here's Landry, looking for it, can't come up with it. McClellan at the point, looking for a lane. Gets through, goes off a, a foot in front. And they chip it back out. Penalty's over. Mitchell, Mitchell enters the zone. Mitchell, Mitchell. Goes off a stick and wide. Andy Ganesh. Grant. Grant's held up at the line. Landry. Landry. Here's McClellan down. Low, fighting with the affiliate player. We still don't know his name. Bowman. Unable to keep it in. Here's Andy Ganesh. Here's Fitzsimmons avoiding a check. Off the side of the net. Back to the point, McClellan. McClellan winds and fires. Goes off a glove. They chip down. And that will go for icing. Against the Metros. 8.05 remaining. Second period. one nothing Metros as we pass the halfway point in this game. Price. Price. Zigs and zags looking for someone. Price again. And picks it up. Bowman. Bowman to McLean. Down in the corner. That goes off the side of the net. And McEachern is able to cover. And we've got a scrum in front of the net. We'll see if anything comes of this on the penalty front. No damage done there. So we continue five on five. And Anna Ganesh wins the Face off in behind their own net. Got to be careful here. Bradley hard on the forecheck. Almost came up with the puck. Here's Maddie. Maddie breaking down the right side. He'll stop. Fire in the slot. No one there. McClellan down low. Bradley's able to steal it. Back in behind the net. Mitten. Mitten loses it. To Maddie. Rimming around. Steel fighting for it. And again, it's able to keep it in. And that goes off a foot. Trying to keep it on the wall. Chasson. Oh. He'll back off. Here's a nifty move by Mitchell. Unable to control. Here's Pierce. Pierce looking for some room. They'll throw it back out in the middle and and Ganesh will go back, just try to clear the zone. They definitely had too many men on the ice. That was missed on a bad change. The puck went to the bench when they were changing and that's always a bad sign when the puck is bouncing around the bench when they're trying to change. The guy's trying to avoid the puck and the guy's coming off the bench. So um, the Metros were able to get away with one there. Lund wins the face off, but it goes to the corner. In around McClellan. McClellan, he's able to hold it in. Fitzsimmons. Hey, hey! 
Now we have a penalty. Against the Metro's McKinnon. Will go to the box for slashing. So 5.53 remaining second period. Got a slashing call on the Metro's John McKinnon, I believe. Well, sir, two minutes for slashing. So Anaganish looking to tie it up here on the power play. McClellan, McClellan able to hold in at the line. Down on the wall, here's McDonald. In behind the net, looking for Maddie. Maddie on the wall. Maddie back up to McClellan. McClellan looking for Elaine, able, unable to find one. Grant, he fires it, goes wide. Here's Anganish in behind the net. McDonald trying to screen. Out in front, Grant fires it off a leg. Good job keeping it at the line. Here's Maddie. Maddie winds and fires cross crease. Maddie. Maddie back to the line. McClellan. McClellan. McClellan looking for a lane, unable to find one. Dumps it over. Maddie in the slot. Shoots it. And now we got another scrum after a good save. By, Matt, by Jelly. 4.44 remaining second period. And Linesman will sort this out. We'll see. Looks like they're going to take. Looks like Grant may be heading for the bench or for the penalty box. And. I would say we have offsetting penalties here. Grant and McLeod will both go to the box for roughing. So, 52 seconds remaining in that original slashing penalty to McKinnon. So, Andy Ganesh stays on the power play here for another 52 seconds. And they were able to clear Lund. He's the lone four checker on the dumped in puck. Metro's with three guys back. And in comes Etheridge, I believe. He's taken down, going to the net. Back on the wall here. Here's Boyd. Boyd chips it in. He rims around. Etheridge is on the wall. He'll pick it up. He dumps it back in. Scramble in front here. They're trying to set up. Here's McClellan. Etheridge. Etheridge puts it down the wall and it's turned over. And the Metros will be able to clear. A bit of a scrum in front of the bench. And Kuglin. Kuglin goes back and picks it up. Sets up behind his own net, looking for someone in the middle. And he'll find steel, steel, steel over the line. And he just misses by uh, six inches or so on that far post. Here's the Metro's penalty is over. Back five on five. Bradley in the corner. He tries to keep it in. Knocked down. Mitten. He throws it at the net. Bradley. He'll cycle back in. There's Mitten behind the net. Back to the point. Bradley. Bradley looking for a lane. Shot on. Good save. And that is dumped out. This will go for icing. 250 remaining. Second period, one nothing. Metros representing PEI with the lead. So far playing a pretty perfect road game. I would have to say Andy Ganesh being undefeated so far would be the favorite in this game in the uh, Metros from PEI are holding their own. 
Reeves. He's unable to keep it in. Bradley, he'll go down and pick it up. He's the lone man back. Got to be careful. Up the wall to the other Bradley. He'll chip it in. Mitten, he's in on the forecheck on McClellan. Mitten, he's able to come up with the puck. Keep it along the wall, trying to get it back to the point. And not able to do so. That's chipped out. Here's Price on the forecheck, and that'll be called for icing. I'm not sure if that icing call made sense. The puck was sort of just drifting in, and the defenseman Bradley was going down backwards. Looked like he had control of it, but nevertheless, offensive zone faceoff for the Metros. Here's one to Reeves. Reeves unable to control. Kuglin unable to keep it in. Here's a three on two. Potentially broken up there by the Metro's defenseman. There's a big hit on Kuglin in the far end. He and he just gloves it ahead. And this will be a glove to hit and icing, and they weigh the both off. 135 remaining second period. Bradley, he'll rim it around to Reeves. Reeves trying to control on the wall. He'll go cross crease looking for Lund. Unable to get it there. And the Metro is able to keep it from me. Keep it. There's a good hit on Reeves along the boards. Bradley at the point. Bradley shot on. Good save. Bradley once again. And good screen there by Mitchell. Parked right in front of the ending of his goalie. And Bradley, good shot, but even better save. Seeing through that screen, he was able to get it with his glove. 53 seconds remaining. Second period, one nothing Metros. Here's Mitchell. He puts a little puck along the boards, but Andy Ganesh able to come up with it. Slowing it down. Here's McNeil. McNeil, he'll dump it far corner. They'll change sides. Mc McNeil able to pick up his own puck. Back to the point. Handing an ish from the point and tipped in front. Almost went in. Good play there. A nice, even better save on Jelly. Pad save on that one timer. And this will be icing against Andy Ganesh with 18 seconds remaining. Second period, 1 0 Metros. So an offensive zone face-off for the Bulldogs. With time running out here in the second period. Fitzsimmons. The important draw. Fitzsimmons wins the draw. Back to McClellan. McClellan over to Lund. And a shot on goal. Great save there by Jelly. We got some scrum in the corner. We got a call. I don't believe it'll be offsetting. McLeod for the Metros goes to the box, I believe, for roughing. And that could be costly. That puts the Bulldogs back on the power play. 9.8 seconds remaining, second period. And a scrum for the puck. There's no, there's no uh, most of the faceoffs here, there's not really a clear winner. It's, it's mostly just six guys converging on the puck most times. 
So they get away with that for the nine seconds. And when we come back in the third period, the Bulldogs will have a power play, a minute 51 remaining in that. So they'll have some time with the admission, intermission to talk about that. But right now it's one nothing. Metro is representing Prince Edward Island after two periods of play. We'll be back for the third period of this game of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup from the Cocan Arena. going out west, run away from the girlfriend, chase the job and the big buck. You could not blame them. But you know why they always come back? Donair. Out west, there's Donair to go for the good food. <laughs> when the plane landed at Aeroport Romeo, you could almost smell the Donair in the hair. Just crave that mystery meat with the sweet, sweet sauce. The first bite after you come home, that's Worry Paw in the pita right there. Get some more Worry Paw feeling with Vienno Insurance. Visit GoVienno.com. Worry Paw!
attributed to the success of this event. Once again, welcome back to the Cocan Arena in Cocan, New Brunswick. This third period action between the Metros representing PI and the Bulldogs representing Nova Scotia in this 2022 Don Johnson Cup. We've got the Bulldogs on the power play, minute 41 remaining as they try to tie up this game at one. Here's the Bulldogs trying to set up the power play. They'll enter the zone and McDonald goes to the middle and loses it. So not a wise play there. Should have taken it deep into the corner. Here's McClellan. McClellan will try to get back into the zone. He'll chip it in and he'll go after his own chip. He's able to come up with it and McDonald. McDonald will punch it back to the line for Grant. McDonald on the wall. Back to Grant. Grant, Lord McClellan, one-timer to Grant, goes off a leg in front. And they'll chip it out successfully. That was Maddie trying to find Grant, put it off a leg. And the Metros are able to clear. Looks a, takes a funny bounce in front of the net. McClellan, McClellan looking for someone, and that was an odd play. Threw it up the wing to no one. Here's some pressure. And the fellow in behind me says, something's not working right here, he's right. That was a very, very odd uh, lack of urgency play on the power play, but here they are back at it. They're in the, they're in the zone. Etheridge, Etheridge able to keep it in. Oh, there's a shot from the point that just misses by a couple of feet. Here comes Watts, Watts. And one is able to sneak through. That was a knuckleball by Watts. And that gets by. The Aniganish goaltender to put the Metros up 2 0. McEachern thought he had it. Bit of a knuckleball there. So that's probably one he would want back. And a bit of a momentum shift there. They're just coming off. Aniganish coming off the power play. Bit of a letdown there, and uh, Watts able to find the back of the net. Here's Steele, throws it down to Mitten. Mitten, he collides with his man behind the net. Here's a scramble in front, unable to find the puck, and the whistle will blow it down. The goaltender lost his helmet. So Ben Watts is credited with that goal to make it 2 nothing Metros. A little of a face-off 
to the right of McEachern. And that goes deep in the corner and they'll just send it out to the middle of the ice. McLeod, McLeod. He throws it up to Mitten. Mitten tips it in, but unable to control. So any initial just flip it back into the middle. Here's Mitten. Mitten avoiding a check. Mitten down the right wing. He'll throw it out. And Trollin, he tries to come up with it, but able to keep it in deep. There are the Metros. They'll regroup here in the neutral zone. They'll fling it up, and Steele picks it up. Steele, Steele on side. Coming across, going to Mitten. Mitten unable to control the puck. And Annie Ganesh picks it up. Here's Grant. Grant, one on three. And he'll just dump it in. He'll head to the bench for a change. Rimmed around, steel on the wall. He'll throw it back. Up it goes, Lund. Looking for it, unable to come up with it. Bradley, Bradley just flips it off the glass. Turnover by Mc, to McDonald. And a open net. Missed. By Annie Ganesh. Maddie had an open side and not able to convert. And here we have a penalty. So the Bulldogs look like they'll be going on the power play. Lund headed to the penalty box. I believe that'll be a tripping call. So the Bulldogs back on the power play. Josh Lund, two minutes for tripping. Here's Etheridge, Etheridge looking for Boyd. Man, the Metros are able to clear it. And they'll try to reset the power play here. They are in the zone, trolling, trolling, looking for Fitzsimmons at the point, finds him. Back to Fitzsimmons, top. And they'll do the switch. And Boyd, Boyd, back to Etheridge at the point. Okay. Etheridge looking for a lane, unable to find him. Etheridge, or Fitzsimmons, one-timer, goes off a leg. And up out of play. 14.53 remaining. 58 seconds remaining in the power play. Metro's holding that 2 nothing lead. The Bulldogs, so far in this tournament, have had no issues with offense until this game. And suddenly the offense has dried up a little bit. Here's McDonald. McDonald cutting down the left wing. Takes a hard hit there by McLeod. He'll go in there battling low for it. McDonald trying to come up with the puck. And gets it out to Maddie. And a good save there by Jolly. And some pushing and shoving in front. Twenty-five seconds remain in the Bulldogs power play. Now I'll chip it back out. And here's McClellan. McClellan. He'll decide to carry it in by himself. McClellan. He throws it in. He'll cycle 
back to the point. That's great. And he scores. That tightens things up here. That'll make it 2-1. And I believe they'll credit McDonald with that shot from the point. Now, may have been Etheridge. I don't know if he was at the point. But a good shot on net. Found a lane. Puck had eyes and found the back of the net. And there's Boyd. He'll chip it in. And after it, Boyd will pick it up along the wall. Trying to find Price with it, but unable to. McDonald is credited with the with the goal, so got some numbers mixed up there. Thought it might have been Etheridge at the point, but it was McDonald. So that tightens that up. 13-20 remaining, third period, 2-1, Metros. Here's Steele. Steele. He'll throw it out to the middle. Price takes it in the feet and unable to control, but Hannigan-ish, here's Boyd. Boyd will just throw it back in and force Bradley to go back and get it. Bradley up the wall. He misses his winger steal. So Trollin's got it. Trollin, he fires it back. Tramble. Tramble takes a hit to the head on his way down. Steele. Steele, he'll dump it in. Here's Mitten on the forecheck. And he'll get there. But Anakin is able to control the puck. And another turnover at the line. Steele's got it. Steele, unable to get it in deep. Rimmed around. Koglan at the line. He just dumps it in. Here's Lund. Lund in there trying to find it. Watts. Watts does a good job of keeping it in, but it's turned over. Trollin. Trollin tied up with Lund. Unable to get free. McKinnon. McKinnon looks like a two-on-one. And a nice save there by McEachern on that two-on-one break by, I believe it was Watson Reeves. Here we go, we got an odd man break. Landry, Landry is stood up and he ends up with his arm wrapped around the neck of of McKinnon, I believe. So they bit, they got tangled up there a little bit. And McKinnon is actually getting the penalty. So something happened prior to maybe a hold. So a bit of an odd play there. We'll wait for the call here. Either way, we've got a two-minute power play for the Metros. And Metros get it out to the middle of the ice. Here's McLeod. McLeod with some pressure. McClellan. And McKinnon is actually called for They're actually calling McClellan for slashing. So the fact that uh, he had his head caught in a embrace is must have been after the play. Here's Grant. Grant on the wall. Back to McClellan at the line. McClellan looks. Toe drags. Tries to find the net. Misses by a couple of feet. Grant back in the corner. Back to the point. Back to McClellan. McClellan. Back to Grant. Grant, he's pushed down and the puck comes out of the zone. And McLeod able to clear all the way down. 57 seconds left in the power play, but Antigonish has the puck. 
And they're choosing to sort of keep control over it. Here's Etheridge. Etheridge carries it down the wall. And it flips in on goal and the goaltender is able to cover it for a stoppage in play. 9.52 remaining, 32 seconds left in the man advantage. And the Metros do a good job of just clearing it down. That'll kill some time. Here's Fitzsimmons. Sticks are high there. Got away with one there. Boyd. Boyd through the neutral zone. He'll hit the line and we're going to get a... Well, the poor announcer has to listen to it too. Etheridge will get a call. I believe. He'll head to the box. Jordan Etheridge is in the box for the Bulldogs. So that'll negate the power play. Nine seconds left. And that'll put the Metros on the power play. Here's Steele from the point and gloved down there by Keckern. One second left, so the door is open to the penalty box. And Maddie able to come up with the puck for the Bulldogs. And they'll just dump it down. And Bradley will have to pick it up for the Metros to get the power play underway here. Bradley up to Mitten. Mitten up the right wall. He's looking for someone. Can't find anybody. He'll just rim it around to the other side, to Lund. Back down low to Steele, up to Bradley. Bradley to Steele, looking for someone in the middle. Can't find anyone. Nothing there but black shirts, and they are clear it down. And the goaltender had man pass, and Mitten just panics and throws it in deep. 106 left in the power play, Lund, Lund. And a huge hit there by Mitten, I believe, on. The defenseman Grant for Eniganish. Big collision. Here's Grant. No worse for wear. Grant trying to get away from the pressure. Another headman pass that goes nowhere and another turnover. So the power play is not really developing here, as I'm sure the coach would like it to. Here's Watts. Watts in behind his own net. He'll come out. Watts. Watts. Massive hit on the boards there by McClellan on Watts. And he loses the puck, so Anigadish able to move the puck up the price in the middle. And we've got a stoppage to play. And I believe the goalie is. Is down. So the trainer is out to have a look. Thinking maybe with that scramble in front of the net, he might have pulled a groin, possibly going from left to right or right to left. So McEachern is down with a, a knee or a groin, something in that area. Yeah, it's definitely uh, lower body related. 
So he's going to go right to the dressing room. That's the problem with being a goaltender. You're growing under a lot of stress. So in, in comes Germani Ganesh. In come Jack Milner. So he'll stretch. So McEckard, who had played so well for this Antigonish team, the whole tournament, has gone to the dressing room. And Jack Milner will take over in the pipes, between the pipes, for the Bulldogs. And we'll have a face-off here in the neutral zone once the officials get things sorted out. Maybe there's some discussion about where the face-off should be following that delay. So they'll leave it where it is, neutral zone on the Bulldogs side of center. Three seconds left before the Bulldog player comes out of the penalty box. And off the draw, control there by the Metros. Metros throw back on their own end, and a turnover. Here comes McLeod, McLeod, two on two with Reeves, and they'll fire it up. 7-14 left, third period, as the puck goes off the mesh in behind the net. So I'll have a face-off to the right of Milner. Who's coming in a little bit cold. And here's Mitten on the face-off. He loses it. And it goes back down in the corner. And here's a nice basketball play by Steele. Jumping up and knocking the puck down. Steele over to Lund. Lund will chip it off the boards. And here's Tramble. Takes a big hit along the boards. Game getting a little bit more physical. Here's Mitten. He's in there fighting with Bradley for it. Steel, he'll cycle down. Here's Bradley throwing it out in front, and that's picked off by Price. Price carries it out across the blue line, and he's into the zone, onside, behind the net, looking for someone. Does a spin, and he's lo he loses it, hanging onto the puck too long. When you hang onto the puck too long, you're not going to have it very long with the. Uh, with the amount of pressure coming in at you. So, best to move the puck just as quickly as possible. Here's Watts. Watts on the wall. Watts, he'll throw it over to Kuglin. Gets flipped out in the middle, and Chasson chase it down, but this will be icing charged against the Metros from PEI, 5.52 remaining, third period, 2-1 Metros. And Anna Ganesh challenged a little bit. Their starting goaltender has gone down. Jack Milner in to replace. He'll have to hold them in as, the, as his teammates attempt to tie this game. Here's Lund. Lund. He's in the zone. Cuts back. Puts it up high. Bounces around. I think that hit the top of the net. Here comes 
And Ganesh. Etheridge pinching down. McDonald. And they'll fire it all the way down. It'll be another icing call against the Metros. So a little bit of a panic on the, the PI, and every time they get the puck, they are content just to fire the puck out of the zone. Fighting the clock here, 519 remaining third period. Boyd off the face off and down it goes again for another icing. It's gonna be a long third period, it's gonna be a long five minutes so they just keep icing the puck every 10 seconds just to clear the zone. They're gonna come up with a better defensive scheme than that. Here's Trollin. He dumps it out. This one will go back down, but the icing's waved off. Just under five minutes remaining, third period. Bulldogs down by one. Scrambly play in the middle. Over to Trollin. Trollin. He'll keep it. And he carries it in. Looking for... There's Harrison in the middle. He just fails to connect. Harrison, he just misses by a couple of feet. He had a man on the open man. That was Boyd, unable to connect. Now flip it back out in the middle. Here's Trollin. Trollin. Here's the puck knocked down, Etheridge. Etheridge will pick it up. He's trying to find some room. Nice cutback. Down on the right wall. He'll pick it up. And thrown in. Nice stop by Jelly on that low snapper. 9.59, or 3.59 remaining. Third period. 2-1 Metros. Fitzsimmons here on the what's going to be an important draw and he loses it here's Pierce behind the net back out to center McClellan McClellan Fitzsimmons in the middle he's unable to control Pierce Pierce just throws it up bit of a back to ping pong here in the middle Mitten Mitten he just throw it in Bradley in on the four check Unable to get there. McClellan around the boards. Fight for it on the wall. And Pierce satisfied just to dump it back in. Metros have a bit of a neutral zone trap here going. Nobody's, nobody's going high. They got five guys back just trying to clog up the middle. We'll see how successful that is. Steele. Here's Price. Price, Steele, chips it out, and out it comes. And Lund trying to get there. And we've got a penalty. We're going to see what the call is here. And penalty is going to go against Annie Ganesh at a bad time. Etheridge going to the box. So down 2-1 two with 2.45 left is not the best time to take a penalty. So we'll see what the call is. I wonder if it was roughing. Etheridge is in the box either way. Interference is the call against Jordan Etheridge with just two and a half minutes left in this third period and his team down 2-1 to the PI Metros. So they're going to have to take some chances here with the time running out. Watts 
and they did. And a nice, beautiful, a toe save by Jelly. That's the save of the save of the game right there on that shorthanded chance. Beautiful save by Jelly. Here's McKinnon all alone. He'll fire it. And nice stop by Mc by the NES goaltender on that. What essentially was a breakaway. So McEckern's or Milner, my apologies. McEckern's out. Milner, beautiful save when his team needed it. 109 remaining, third period. 2 1 Metros, and they're on the power play for another minute six. Down behind the net, here's the Bulldogs. They'll just flip it out. Mitchell, Mitchell throws it back in. Thrown down by Milner, McClellan. He rims the puck around. Now flip it out in the middle. Watts. Watts goes back. Blind backhand pass up the wall. Mitchell, turnover. Here's Fitz, Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons, one on three. Had his pocket picked. Googlin, happy to dump it down. McClellan, 21 seconds left in the power play. One minute left here in the game. They'll go, they'll be back five on five here with a chance to pull the goaltender in about five seconds. And they score. McLeod off the right wing. Low snapper, far post. Beats Mil Milner to make it 3-1 and that's likely it. The Metros up 3-1 here. 46 seconds remaining, third period. That'll pro that's probably the final nail in the coffin here for the Bulldogs, who will see their first loss this game. So they'll have to regroup after this and uh, examine what went, what went right and what went wrong. And for the Metros, a pretty solid win. What I would call a perfect road game. They sustained pressure early on from Aniganish and came up with some timely goals, that last one. And we're gonna have a timeout here. And Ganesh is going to take a timeout, 27 seconds left, down 3-1. And their net is empty. So they're looking for a way to make it 3-2 as quickly as possible. Still have some time left on the clock. But that's going to be a big task. So far, they're, this game, they've been this tournament, the Bulldogs have shown lots of offensive power, and it's sort of dried up this game. So they're going to have to have a look at what went wrong offensively for them. So here we go, 27 seconds left, goalie pulled, so it's six on five. And they win the draw, back to the point, and mishandled at the point. So that costly mistake there. And Trollin goes in the zone offside. So the mistakes are compounding here, and the clock keeps ticking. 19 seconds left. And a neutral zone faceoff. And McDonald wins it, controls in the zone. Blocker save there, Jolie, Jolie. Back to McClellan, McClellan looking for a quick lane. Unable to find one, Maddie just firing it. Anything now, goes off the mesh. Four seconds remaining. 
And that'll do it. So that'll, uh, I'm not sure what this is going to do for the standings, but it's for sure going to tighten things up when you have an undefeated team suffering a first loss and a team that struggled in previous games with a pretty solid road win. So that'll do it. Final score, 3-1. The Metro's over the Bulldogs. And a much needed win by the PI Metros. The NS Scrap Metal Metros. Player of the game, number 22 for the Bulldogs, Tolan, or Tulin, not sure how you pronounce it, Tolan, and the Metros, and Matthew Jelly with a really, really strong game in goal. Understood under, under duress there in the first period. Was able to fight him fight off all the offense coming at him and keep his team in the game and they were able to come up with a couple of goals and that was the game so the Metros take this one 3-1 join Roger Surrett at 4 o'clock here for the next game of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup live from Cocan Cocan to Brunswick